Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my vlog. Thanks for watching. Today I'm at Ray's Garage, RB Garage. Uh, very, very famous um, M3 Master. You know, those of you might notice that or recognize him as a BMW Master. So he fixes BMW M3, uh, M5, you know, raw bearings and Venos. He specialized that. Um, yeah, so this is one of the customers here. Job off his E46 M3. So here is one of the customers M3 is being fixed by Master Ray. So this is Ray's car, uh, E46 Lagula Sega Blue track car, E46 M3. You know he's hella into this car since 2001. He puts tons of money, time, blood, everything, you name it, all in, you know. If you are a car guy, you know what I'm saying. Uh, you know that feeling, right? Just like this. Beautiful piece of side window that he orders from UK You know, it's all the way from UK High quality and the Flossman design fenders as well This is a whole piece of carbon fiber side fenders And then he sent it to a shop We paint it, uh, drilled it, uh, you know, like polish it It's like exactly the same just like the OEM finish so um, moving over here, you can see this is a TE37 18 inch um, racing wheels. You know, don't ask me why. I think you already knew the answer uh, why TE37 SL because lightweight, strong, easy to clean, beautiful, timeless design, everything. You know, with the Brembo 6 piston 380 millimeter rotor. This is amazing. Moving over here, you can see the aftermarket fully functional LED custom headlights. This is amazing. With the hard motorsport splitter in order to generate more downforce. And the canard as well. This is the tow hook. You just tighten them up. This is a very, very well maintenance E46 M3. One of a kind. Like Gula Sega Blue, it's been like 20, 20 years, but still pulls like a MF, you know. This is the GT Wing he orders from SoCal, Los Angeles. RS GT Wing. Carbon fiber wing, carbon fiber stands. The trunk is also carbon fiber, but he repainted it, matches the car, OEM paint, like Gula Sega Blue. Uh, so it looks better moving over here you still can see the motons taking it out uh omp competition halo seats just like mine with the six point harnesses shroud harnesses half cage auto power half cage painted in oem like gula sega blue as well whole piece of carbon fiber seat delete omp f1 steering wheel with the gauges also equipped with the quick release in order to get out right away and the CAE shifter and also uh, cinnamon interior supposed to be black but he dyed the color into cinnamon color matches the OEM kind of look uh, carbon fiber what's that called the uh, shifter booth the handle is also fabric uh, weight reduction bro, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. But next time I'm gonna do a full reveal with Master Ray. You see the fender, how good it is. The downforce, hit it and out right over here. So sometimes you gotta cool down your brakes, brake dots and brake rotor in order to keep it running uh, in good condition otherwise your car won't stop at the track so the aerodynamics hits it and then out right over here all the way hit it over here over there and the back otherwise you know it's gonna be understeer without the splitter fenders you know if you just got the wing it's not gonna help much okay so Ray, tell me about your car like what have you done to it okay. so far during the past 20 years yeah <laughs> thank yeah. you so um i've done a lot of 
suspension mods and um i got uh these volk wheels with uh rembo 380 uh 380 millimeter rotors okay six piston uh brakes and then uh, a lot of carbon fiber panels this is a carbon fiber fender and lots of aero parts on it from flossman design um, nice. I've done a carbon roof delete, lightens up the, the top of the car. And then um, inside the car, you'll see the roll cage, four, four point uh, roll cage, mm -hmm. um, uh, auto power. Auto and power, then, uh, nice. The back seat right here is a carbon fiber delete, rear seat delete. Mm -hmm. There's only maybe six of those made. Um, so it's a pretty rare unit. Um, th yeah, this is more for like keeping the engine bay uh, cooler. Nice. On track days. That's why there's nice. uh, cutouts on the louvers. These are lighter than the uh, factory ones. Um, these are the Moton canisters for the suspension. Three-way adjustable um, uh, suspension. Um, I have OMP seats, uh, um, full halo seats, fiberglass with um, Schrott six-point harness. Nice. CAE shifter and a lot of Vorsteiner interior parts, carbon fiber panels. Right. This car has lots of carbon fiber. You can see it from the um, right. side diffusers <laughs> to carbon fiber standoffs, carbon fiber wing. This is a carbon fiber trunk and carbon fiber diffuser. Let me go over here. Of course, you got the exhaust, and that's the uh, three inch exhaust yeah. for, the, for the turbo kit. So how many horses are you pushing right now? Uh, 750. Crank. Wow. <laughs> so 640 at the wheels. 640 at the wheels. Yeah, on this side, we have um, this is my uh, uh, quick, quick release. release. This is a quick wheel. release steering wheel. I can take it off for you. Okay. Wow. That's <laughs> really nice. As easy as one, two, three. Yeah, it looks like little paddle shifters, but they're not <laughs> SMG. No, just kidding. Right. <laughs> Quick release. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how I've done. Do want to the hood? Yeah, please. Hood Underneath? Nothing. Nothing underneath, but oh. it's actually seven hundred <laughs> 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 Yeah, it looks, looks very stock, which is how I like to keep it. Uh huh. Keeps me out of trouble. Yeah. So the big turbo is hiding uh, underneath. Under, under here, yeah. Yeah, you can't really see it's it. Under but... the car, away from. Yeah. Wow. Come on, Ray, let's go to the house. 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 Let's go to <laughs> wow. Thank you, Ray. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for showing me your beast. No problem. <laughs>